girls. Oh, of course, yes. And I'm proud to be their mother. <laughs> you can say that again. <laughs> My fellow ladies, I want to assure you that I'm going to be here for you no matter what happens. <laughs> okay? Okay, mom. I just want you to see me as your playmate, your best friend, and your confidant. All right? Okay, mom. So what is this all about? Oh. Okay. Oh. Uh, yeah. Oh. Here you go. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. Thanks, Mom. What's inside? Hmm. Alia with jump questions. <laughs> it's something special. Eh? But it's not yet our birthday. Even if it was, I am a sister when nobody is saying this. Hmm. Come on, ladies. Just come on. It doesn't have to be your birthday before we, your parents, decide to spoil you. Hmm. Okay? Wow. Thanks, Mom. Thanks, Dad. Thanks, Alfred. You're welcome, darling. Ellen, you're a darling. Anyway, on that note, <laughs> may we eat, enjoy ourselves, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And stop asking questions. All right? So, eat on. Because it's a special day. Mm? Um, you know we don't do this all the time, so <laughs> we're going to pop champagne and everybody's going to have fun. Oh, mm? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you're enjoying your plantain. I hope you like the food. Wow. Done. So shall we? Sure. But before then, mommy needs a tight hug and a lovely peck. <laughs> okay, so where's my peck? <laughs> I love you girls. Okay, let's go before we get late. I told you you were the one that made the pool. <laughs> Come on, that's a lie. No, you did. I never did anything. Wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, I still want to let you know that I love you, baby. Oh, I do too. Oh. I love you. I love you, darling. <laughs> wow. Oh. Uh, oh, my friend. Uh, hello? Oh, baby, I'm coming, okay? Let me get something like it. I'm coming now. I want to go to I'm coming now. All right. Okay. Hello? Sweetheart, um, I need to get some small chops outside. My supplier just came. Oh, okay, my love. Oh, I'll right. see you soon. Love you, baby. I love you too. Oh. Don't be late. I won't. I'll be back. <laughs> What's the matter with you? I thought I told you my wife would be home today. So what? Fred, I love you. And I want to have you. I mean, I want to have you now. I'm sorry. I can't. Not today, please. Oh, Fred, why are you treating me like this? I thought you told me you loved me. You see, I, I know I love you. But you see, I love my wife more. Oh. What? Mom, mom! Give it to me now. 
Excuse me, ladies, what's going on here? Why are you chasing her? Mom, tell her daughter to give me my idea. Mom, tell her to mute this sound. She's distracting me. How? I'm doing my homework. Do yours. I'm doing it, but you're distracting me. How? Okay, fine. I get it now. Natasha, so because you're done with your own homework, so you think you can actually play your game to make noise, right? That's how you hurt. Fine. And she's doing it. And you're supposed to guide her, protect her, and support her with her own work, rather than distracting her. Hmm? Or don't you know she's your responsibility? Really? Yes, really. Just as I am responsible for you. Aliyah here is your own responsibility. And you must always support her and protect her. Huh? Aliyah, I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> that's so sweet of you. Okay, come give me a hug. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Alfred and small chops. Alfred! Small chop is here. Please come downstairs. I'm off to the office. And the maid has gone to the market. Bye, honey. Please, just relax and wait for him. We'll be with you shortly, okay? Thank you. God. <laughs> oh, Alfred and Smart Chops. <laughs> Alfred, Smart Chops is here. Um, I'm going to the office. The maid have gone to the market. <laughs> oh, bye, honey. <laughs> this is really funny. <laughs> okay. gone to the office and the maid to the market we are left all to ourselves come here wait, wait 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 please let's use the hotel across my estate please why why not here instead are you insane how do you expect me to lay with you on my matrimonial bed <laughs> come on tell me something better wait for it So, come here. What are you doing? <sighs> Don't I know you? I sell smart shops. Do you care for? Well, Maybe if I was a man, I would really care about what you sell. I don't know what you mean by- Oh, shut up! You think I don't know you? You think I don't know you? You think I don't know what you sell? You come to this house in this guise that you sell those- What's that? rubbish you claim! I come here to sell my product. That's all! Oh, shut up! Excuse me. Get out! Get out!
You're welcome. You resumed rather too early today. The children are four hours away from the close of school. Um, yes, I know. Actually, I'm in the neighborhood and I decided to come here because going back home and coming back will cost a lot of transport. Oh, I understand. Thank you, Ma. Excuse me? I saw you in the car with that girl. Kissing yesterday. Wait, wait, wait. wait. What was it supposed to mean? You better mind your business, right? Hey. You know. Since it's obvious that you like cheating on your wife, why don't we cheat on her together? What's this supposed to mean? Huh? I'm not gonna do that. I will tell her. Now, you see, I know you wouldn't want that, baby boy. So, why don't you provide me with this? Stop it! Today. I came to warn you to mind your business. She's too nice for me to keep this away from her. Oh, really? Yes. You want to go squeal? It's fine, you can go. But just know that you will lose your job and you might even lose your life. Make sure you don't see any dirt in your fingers, okay? Even if you want to keep your nails, it must be clean at all times. Hmm? The safest way is cutting it. It looks more healthy and clean that way, okay? okay. Then your underwear, which are your pants and your bra. Once you wear it, you must never repeat anyone, okay? You wear it, you wash, and then you wear another one. Do you understand? Aliyah, do you understand me? Yes, ma'am. Natasha? Yes, ma'am. Do you understand? Um, well, um, all I do is just sit in the house, sleep, eat, watch TV, and then wait for her to come back. Then I give her multiple orgasms. Just that. Huh. That's because you married an alpha female, a rich woman. I don't even know if you married her or she married you. But there's nothing wrong in being an alpha female. Oh, that means you agree that she married you. Oh. I mean, you need to take charge. Be a man. Let her stay at home and take care of the kids while you go to work. Take charge of the company. Take control of the business. You know? Be the one to fend for the family. And that way you earn more respect. Uh, 
I... There's no I, that's just the truth. Hmm. Honey, I totally agree with you. Yeah, I do. Okay, do you know what? Yeah. First thing tomorrow morning, we'll both go to the office together so I can formally introduce you to all my staff and then hand over to you. Okay? Honey, oh. I just want you to know that this is really going to avail me with so much relief. So I can take care of my girls myself. Thank you so much, babe. You're welcome. Oh. Hi, honey. Oh. Mm. Natasha. Welcome. Aliya, you guys should get up here. Go to your room. Mm. You have your room now. Go to your room and leave my husband alone. Um, I'm not jealous. Yes, I'm jealous. I am. Okay. okay, you guys go to, go your, to room. your room, okay? See these children. Aliya, <laughs> go to your room. Go upstairs. Go and sleep. Go upstairs. Come, 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 come. come. I shall leave my husband alone. Go to your room and sleep. Okay, eh? okay, don't worry. It needs to rest, okay? I go to your room. Oh, oh God. God. Oh, baby. Very stressful. Very tired. Oh. How are you doing? I got this for you too. You're about to finish the town for today. Well, mom, your day just me. What's that? <laughs> okay, um, just finish studying. Then when you're done, you get dressed up because we are about to paint the town red today. Where are we going exactly? Um okay. Let's just say we start with the fun pack. Then we go to the movies. Then to an amazing dinner date with daddy. How was that? Wow. Thanks, mom. You're welcome. Okay. Oh. Every time I wear this wig, flies are always following me. Yes, yeah, so put, put it there. So you need to write this as well. Just take this one. Yes. Madam wants to see you now.
name we pray. Amen. Linda, are you sure you don't want to join us? Ah, no, I ate before coming, ma'am. Fine. Thank you, ma'am. Oh, okay. Okay, guys, let's eat. Hey! What is the problem? What is it? What's in this food? Like, are no. you guys okay? Why don't you taste the food and, and stop asking questions? Ah, what is inside this food? Hey, this girl wants to finish off soon. What did you put inside this food? I didn't put anything, just the usual ingredients. Nothing. Just shut up. So I'm insane, right? So you mean I'm insane? No. Fine. Come and test this food. Come on, test his food! Test his food! <laughs> oh! And you say you didn't do anything. What did you put in, in, inside this food? God. Huh? So this is how you want to kill my family? Alero? <laughs> Linda? Ma? Please? Can you please come test this food? Okay, ma'am. I'm sure you gave me the letter. Mmm! You can imagine! Eh? Ha! Hey! Hey! <laughs> Alero! Did you use foil and kerosene to make the food? Ah. Hey, mm. Natasha, I'm sure you didn't eat enough of it. Mm. Eh? Aliyah. Alfred, like I'm so done with housemaid in this house. I want this girl out of my house. Now, and I mean it. I'm getting the police for you. I didn't put anything in You want to kill this family? Look at these beautiful children. You want to injure them? What did you use to cook this food? It's tasting like they're spoiling it now. Ah, no, no, sir. I don't think it's necessary. Let her just carry her gun. I must go and go. Oh. Alero, now listen to me. Get in there. Get your bags. You are leaving this house now. Ah. Get out! You are still begging. Go and carry your things and Get out of there! You. Come on, leave this house. Go. Alero, I'm sorry you had to lose your job. I didn't want to kill you, so I thought it was best if I made you lose your job. <laughs> or would you have preferred I kill you? Opportunity. Now, you know what you're going to do? You're going to stay very far away from this vicinity. You're going to run along and go get yourself another job. Don't ever let me see your face around this place again. Do you understand? Get out. Good afternoon, ma. Good afternoon, ma.
Alfred, Alfred, you need to come home. I don't know. I just came to your house now to teach the children, and then I saw your wife on the floor. I don't know. She's not moving. I think she's not breathing. Yes, yes, please, please, come, come. Should I go? Okay, okay, I'll wait for you. Come, come, please. Oh, God. Look at her. Look at, look at her. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What are we doing? I told you on the phone. When I came back, I saw her lying on the floor. Oh my God. Can you carry her? Oh my God. What are we doing? Carry her now. Carry your wife. Let's carry her. Let's carry her. Yes. I came to sympathize with you on the death of your wife. <laughs> Good radiance to bad rubbish, I guess. What was that supposed to mean? <sighs> now that she's out of our way, so when are you coming to see my parents so we can legalize this our small jobs business? Are you out of your mind? Huh? What nonsense are you talking about? I just lost my wife and all you have to say is this. What are you doing here? <laughs> oh, lesson teacher. I should ask you same. What are you doing here? The kids are on holiday at their grandma's. So what are you doing here? When I said leave, I didn't just mean leave. I mean leave and never come back. You can't chase me away. Really? It's like you want the same thing that happened to his wife to happen to you. The boy you will come back again. Money, Mom. How are oh. you? I'm fine. My darling. Honey, breakfast is almost ready. Just give me five minutes and I'll be set. I'm not hungry. Uh, look, honey, it, it's not about you. I am not just hungry this morning, okay? People should not do this to me now. I woke up early just to make you eat. Honey, it's not about you. I am not just hungry, alright? Please. What about you, Natasha? I'm fine. Now eat when I come back. Just be good, okay? I knew I was going to see you I here. I know, right? Oh, your daughter is so beautiful. How are you? <laughs> Smart. How far now? I'm fine, though. Hmm. I came to pick up my husband's children from school. <laughs> ah, oh, please. <laughs> hey, glow. My darling, I glow. Baby. <laughs> well, thank you. Hmm. But wait, I don't understand something. Are you married to Alfred? Or did he employ you to be a nanny to his children or his part-time driver? Because I'm lost. Linda, the children wants to eat. Linda, come and take the kids to, to, to see a movie. Linda, this and that. I actually don't know you to be this nice though. I don't understand what you're saying. 
Are you a fool? Hmm? Are you a fool? Alfred is simply using you to take care of his girls. When they grow up, they will start to fight you over their father's money. And it doesn't seem to be like you have anything to gain. Everything you're doing is going to be at a big loss at the end of the day. Hi. It's like you're right, too. Mm. I'm always right, my dear. <laughs> it is high time you deploy those little termites to the streets where they belong. That's where mother, motherless children stay. They throw them off to the streets. Better open your eyes. Though. I have to, have, to, have to run now. My daughter is really, really hungry. Are you a fool? Hmm? Are you a fool? Alfred is simply using you to take care of his girls. When they grow up. They will start to fight you over their father's money. And it doesn't seem to be like you have anything to play. Everything you're doing is going to be at a big loss at the end of the day. Huh, Kim, you're right. Alfred has turned me into another thing. Now these rats will be the first to go to the university. They will finish my husband's money. I have to get rid of them. They can die and join their mother in the grave. They are girls, they won't come back. Glad the baby of the house pray for us. Amen. Lord, we thank you for today, for our lives, and for everything that we've done that we can't see. We say thank you. May the soul of Lady Bala Alfred continue to rest in peace, even as your mouth has told you. Amen. Thanks for prospering our Father. Bless our mother, all that I ask of you. Amen. Amen. Mom, we left during prayer. Ah, no, I, I... I had something in my throat, so I had to go get water. Uh, you girls know what to do this morning, right? Oh, um, please, don't bother the girls, okay? I'm actually taking them somewhere this morning. Girls, all right, quick, quick, quick. You guys, get ready. Quick! Go and get ready, we're going somewhere. Be fast about it. Hi. Where are you taking the children to? Um, it's Helen's remembrance, so um, we are going to her tomb. And you didn't bother to tell me? <sighs> well, I, I, I didn't think you'd be interested in such affairs, considering how you reacted last year when I mentioned it to you. We're not going to a fashion show. And what's that? Just hurry up. Dad will be waiting by now. Alia, Natasha, please hurry up. Uh, wow. See how gorgeous my girls are looking. Thank you, Dad. Wow. Wow, I like your dress. So you're ready to roll now, hmm? You both look amazing in black. Okay, so go and have fun, okay? Have fun. Okay, let's go. All right, so let's go now. Natasha, let's go. Okay. All right, All sweetheart. All right, baby. Ah! 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 Leah! Ah! Linda! Ah! Linda! Ah! Linda! Ah! Linda! Ah! Get my car keys, get my car keys. Oh my God. 
No, oh. Linda. Linda. What is it? Get my cat, Natasha. Look for it. Get upstairs and look for it. Linda, what is it? I've seen it. I've seen it. It's in my pocket. Linda, come, come, come. Let me, let me take you to the hospital. Oh. What is wrong with you? Dad, eh? can we come with you? No, 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 no. Please stay. Take care of your sister, okay? Let me take her to the hospital. Are you are you okay? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Don't worry, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Can you walk? No. Oh, okay. Let me carry you no, then. No, no. Okay. Not Don't worry, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Oh. You'll be fine. Oh. Sorry, sorry, darling. Sorry. Sorry, let's go. Let's go. You need to see the doctor. Sorry, you'll be fine. Okay. Are you are you better now? Yes, I'm better. But I still need to see a doctor. Obviously. So let's go. No, 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 no. Okay, fine. Let me quickly get something inside. I'm coming. No, don't worry, don't worry. Tell me what it is. I'm gonna get it for you now. Baby, come on. I'm not dead and I'm not crippled. I can walk. I'm fine. Just give me a minute. Oh, shut up. Who is your mom? Do I look like that dead thing that gave birth to you? The one you are actually dressed to go and see? What do you people take me for in this house? Let me ask you. Eh? Oh, you think I would allow you dress up to go and see your mother in the grave? You must be mad. If you know what is good for you, go and remove those rags you are wearing. Oh. Go and remove it before I get very upset with you. I don't even think of going anywhere. Don't even think about it. I even told this idiot that her dress was fine. She was smiling. Rubbish. It's okay, Natasha. Hello? <clears throat> oh, really? I'm already on my way to the hospital. Though. Okay, you know what? Just wait for me at home. I'm coming. <sighs> Honey, please just pack. Why? Are you for real? Why do you want me to pack here? This is not the hospital. Uh, maybe just pack. <sighs> I have to go back home. Wait, see, I've already told them in the office that I'm going to come a bit late today. I have to take you to the hospital. I know, but then my doctor friend said he would be at home. And there's no need for you to still go to the hospital now. Just don't worry. I don't want you to be late. Just go to work. Make sure you'll be fine. I'll be fine. Okay. Now, All right. I love you. Sense. 
So these useless people actually planned to go and visit their dead mother. As what? Hey, if the woman is dead, will you not just allow her to die in peace? Are you married to two women? Last year will be the last time this rubbish will happen in my house. That is, uh, what are those idiots? Natasha! Alia! Hello, sweetheart. Hello? Yes, is your doctor friend with you now? Okay, let me speak with her. What, what did she say is wrong with you? Baby, calm down first. Where are your children? I, I don't understand. They are meant to be at home with you. Ha! I don't know. I just got home now and the whole place was left open. The, 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 the entire house was just scattered and I didn't find them. Did you send for them? No. You insisted I continue to the office, so how could I have sent for them? Ah, that means they're missing, oh. What? Alia, Natasha, missing, how? I don't know. They're missing. Please, somebody's at the door. Somebody's at the door, I'll talk to you later. Okay, all right, talk to you later. Ah, Alia, Natasha, missing. Sorry we didn't leave anymore. Yeah, actually, I knew the girls would be at the cemetery, so I decided to go take them. Okay, girls. I will see if I can, okay? I don't see. Go inside, change, freshen up, you know. Are you? Yeah. Let's go. Uh, that will not be necessary. Why? Why? Well, because my children and I mm -hmm. are going for a family function, so we need to quickly get dressed and go. Okay, let me drop this for you. It's uh, still not necessary. Okay, I'll be on my way now. Shut the door properly. Monkeys, what are you doing here? I don't want to get upset with you. I don't want to lose my temper. Take yourself right now and get into the kitchen. Get out there. Do I do, Lord, to end the 
Hey. Huh. These children want me to just kill them with my bare hands. Natasha! Alia! Mom. Are you mad? Who is your mom? Oh, shut up! Change. Take. Take this money. The supermarket at the gate. The estate gate. Go there. Buy everything on that list. <laughs> if you like, get lost. It works for me because I will give my husband beautiful children. Do you understand? Get out. Why are you looking at me? Oh, you don't have a job. Exactly. Go into the kitchen. Go and cut the vegetables and the onions. Come, Come back here! Are you mad? Stand here. Really, are you mad? You are not. Because it's like you are mad. Nothing good about you. You're not beautiful. You look as ugly as your mother. You are tiny and on top of it, you don't have sense. Get out! Hey! Come back here. Kneel down. Raise up your hands and close your eyes. You know what? Get up and get out of my sight. Are you right? Get out. Not the food they eat in this house. One single fact. They look like children that they are mal malnourished. Your money is 6,500 naira. I have just 5,000 naira here. Hey, did someone obviously send you here with this list and with 5,000 naira? So what should we do? Hmm? We have to take off some things. Is this so this is the asked you to cut since morning you have still not cut it eh? is this how i used to cut carrots that you see food to eat in this house do you think you are cooking for children look at this whole thing do you want to sleep here let me go and come back and see this plate still full that your useless mother in the grave will hear your voice look at useless children
Madam, you obviously owe me an explanation. These things are not complete. The whole bill was 6,500, but you only gave me 5,000. So I had to do it back to my terms. You had to do without some items. Decision maker. Is it not that same supermarket where I buy things every day? Hmm? The same things I have on this list I bought for 5,000. In fact, there was change remaining. Suddenly, I send you out to buy me some things and suddenly all the prices have been hiked. But mom, if you doubt me, you can calculate everything yourself. I ran useless tip. Who is that one? Where are these useless children? Natasha! Alia! Hey. Natasha! Why is she feeling pains? Just a little. My fellow women. What is going on here? I had a cut on my finger while slicing the ingredients. That's because you are useless and lazy. Mom! Oh, shut up. Who is your mother? Eh? Oh, so that's why both of you left the whole ingredients in the kitchen wide open so that germs would enter. And you, what are you doing? Eh? Are you now a doctor? Dr. Natasha Alfred? Doctor in making. Get, get, get yourself out of this place. Look at this useless one. Where will you become that doctor in this house? It's like you don't know what you're dealing with. Except you want to become native doctor. Get out! Get, get, get out. Get, get, get out. Who even gave them these things? These children are spoiled. Got your hand. Because I eating already. <laughs> Hi, sweetheart. Mm -hmm. Love you. Hi, darling. Halia. Mm -hmm. Love you. Ah. Halia, what's this? Did you enjoy yourself? Yes, Dad. Ah. How? What happened? You cannot talk. I, 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 I was. Sorry. She was actually playing with knife. You know, and that's how she caught herself. Ah. What? Knife? How do you mean she was playing with knife? Who, who plays with knife? No, Dad. She was actually. Oh, shut up! Ah. Adults are talking, you're talking. Are you not part of the people that was encouraging her? They play rough play in this house too much. Ah. Especially her. Wait, wait, wait. And I'm supposed to take her to the hospital, huh? Aliyah, will you shut up before I lose it? It's okay. They are children. They will outgrow it. It's okay. Besides, I've already taken her to the hospital. Tomorrow, I'll still take her to the hospital. She'll be fine. Uh -uh. Look, honey, you don't understand. They're resuming school on Monday. Am I supposed to take her to school like this? Just don't worry. They're my children. Hmm? How can you be playing with knife? Who does that? It's alright. The rough play is too much. Mm 
What are you people doing? Eh? You. So my husband was talking to me. As the woman he married, you ought to try to respond. Eh? Natasha, am I your mate? Ha! Huh, Natasha, let this be the first and the last time you will ever try to tell your father that I have not been nice to you people. Do you hear me? Are you mad? Useless children. If I'm the one that gave birth to monkeys like you, I would have killed you. Don't mind her. She was just blabbing. It's alright. Let's continue. Father, we are sorry for the interruption. And as we requested, protect us from our stepmother in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Are you a fool? Hmm? Are you a fool? Natasha! Alia! Ah uh ah, -uh. you don't have mouth to answer me. You come on, go on your knees. Oh, so you're not bigger than me in this house. I'm sure it is one of you that has bad luck that is bringing all the problems in this house. Let me tell you, your witchcraft will not affect me. There is no more money in this house. My husband and I don't have money. That useless school that you are even attending is too expensive. So you know, there will be no more mention of schooling in this house. From today, school ends for both of you. I will advise you to decide what you want to do with your life. If you want to become tailor or hairdresser, I might consider consider it. It's not about going to school in this country. Oh. It's not about going to school. So, that is it. Come on! Did I ask you to, to, to get up? Are you mad? Raise up your hands and close your eyes! Raise, your, raise, raise, raise up your hands properly. Who is, who is this one? All you know how to do is pack hair money from money till night. You'll be packing hair at the shop. Get out! Useless children. What has dad done wrong this time around? Why do you want us out of school? I don't understand. Who wants you out of school? Mom said we are going to stop schooling because school fees are very high and things are very bad at the moment. Huh? Like the economy is bad. How? Look, even if the economy is bad, I don't see how that will affect my children's education. Alright? Maybe she was just playing pranks on you. Or perhaps she doesn't even know what she's talking about. I think the letter mom doesn't know what she's saying. Natasha, let's go. The trip is soon. <laughs> of course. <laughs> ah, 
No wahala, no wahala. Yeah, I'll talk to you later. All right then, take care. <clears throat> Bye. <laughs> so what trip are you talking about? It's an official trip. Am I coming? No way. So who's going to take care of the children? Am I now their maid? I don't get it. I'm not their mother. I am not their aunt. I am not related to them. You're my husband and I want to be with you. But you accepted them before we got married. What were you expecting me to say? <laughs> no to the proposal? I am not their maid. I am not and I will not be. Linda. Linda! Linda! Hey, baby. Hello. Hi, darling. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who is this? Um, sorry, sweetheart. I, I stopped over at the home service agency. I brought her to help in the shores of the house, especially with the children. Good day, ma. Mm. Honey, I thought you said you didn't want um, a help. Um, yeah, but for the sake of the children, honey, try and understand. At least her presence here will lessen the workload in this house. I really don't like you to be stressed. Oh, so it's all about the children. Obviously, who else? Do you ever do anything for me as your wife? Every decision you take in this house is because of your kids. I remember how bad I begged you for help. You said you didn't want any house help. And suddenly, your kids need help. You produce one. I do not want any house help in my house. Come on, sweetheart. You can't do this. Linda! Wait for me here. Linda! Why? Come now. I'm trying to explain something to you. Why are you doing this? to do is to provide an assistant for you while I'm away. Our trip is in a few days. Please try and understand. Huh? At least this will aid you more space to attend to other important matters, you know. That's the part I like. She can stay. You mean she can stay? Men, Margaret Thatcher. Ah, ah. Hmm. You are all the same. Really? Anyway, um, I'll see you later. Start going. Uh, I see that you have some children helping out with the house chores already. 
And that explains why your wife doesn't want me here. What are you talking about? Eh? What children? Look, both of us have agreed that you're going to stay. So you have the job now. Alright? And I expect you to do a good job. Okay, thank you so much. Um, yes, that reminds me, you've not seen my children. Um, Natasha and Aliyah. Natasha! Aliyah, where are you? <sighs> Natasha! Aliyah! What's going on here? What are... Linda! 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 For how long has this been going on? Honey, what are you talking about? Don't pretend as if you don't know what I'm talking about. Honey. These are my children. What is wrong with them washing plates? Ha! I'm not going to raise children that are spoiled too. They need to be able to take care of themselves when we're not around. Now you listen to me. That wasn't just plates. I actually met the student cooking in the kitchen. As if they were used to it. Cooking? How? What can these children cook? I was in the kitchen with them. I just stepped out. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. Honey, I'm so sorry. Actually, it's not like they were cooking. You know, they give them assignments in school. That's their food and nutrition assignments. Right, girls? Yes. yes. You know, so they asked them to cook something. Auntie Yaya, welcome. All right. Bye. Here's Natasha. Come here. Natasha, 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 Natasha. Auntie Aya is here. Oh, look at her. Come here. How are you? Alpha. Patricia. Sorry. Thank you. This is Yaya, our mom's sister. That's our biological mom. Yaya, this is Nikki, our new big friend. Your new big friend? Don't mind her. I'm her new maid. I just started work here. Oh, okay. Welcome. I'm Yaya, the auntie. Pleased to meet you. Same here. Um, I'm going to take the girls out, okay? We'll be back shortly. Okay, okay, no problem. Okay, mm. girls. Oh, okay, you're already dressed. So go and put your shoes down, okay? Okay. Please, sit down. Yeah. Thank you. Mm. How could you? Eh, Nike? How? Oh, please, don't bother this, the poor girl. Eh? What were you expecting her to do? To stop them? Huh? Her name is Yaya. She just said she wants to take them out. I'm sure they will be back soon. Will you shut up? Huh? I've been hearing that for the past 30 minutes. Where are they now? Eh? Look, look at now. I, I, I know I'm traveling today. I've not even seen my kid to say, to say goodbye. Honey, I think you should be going so you don't miss your flight. All you need to do is call that, that uh, lady and tell her to stop coming to this house to pick up those kids. It's wrong. We don't even know where she's taking them to. Huh. Can you imagine? Eh? What's all this now? The kids are not here now to say their final goodbye to me. Here they are. Oh. Alina. Natasha. How are you? I'm going to be Hi, Alfred. Hi, Linda. Hi, Dad. Good to go. Yes, I've been waiting for you to say goodbye. Huh? I'll tell her to cost the best ice cream. Yeah, yeah. Please, don't take my daughter anywhere again. Let this be the last time. What? What? what, what why? why? What did I do? What did you not do? Are you supposed to be taking these children anywhere in the first place? Their sister is dead. Let her die and rest in peace. Let these children grow up in peace. Stop coming to this house, though. I don't like it. Or do you have plans to marry Alfred? <laughs> I don't have your time. Aliyah, Natasha, be safe, okay? I'll come see you some other time. Bye. Bye, Nikkei. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye.
Are you mad? Take that in the outside, outside, Jerry. Natasha. I'm helping them out with their homework. Really? Please retreat. I get you, madam. There are, in your housemaid doesn't mean I am an illiterate. Someone has to make a living, you know. What? Mom, you're not dressed yet. Okay, I'm even supposed to be dressed so I can go to church with you or better still drive you to church. You see, the problem with you kids is that you are spoiled. They gave you so much leverage in this house. You want to go to church. Today is Sunday. I don't want to lose my temper. I don't want to get angry. Just quietly go back upstairs. Remove those clothes you're wearing. Get into the kitchen. But Don't you dare but mommy! Get upstairs! Who do you think you are? What do we do, Lord, to end this hardship? Where do we go from here? Who do we turn to now? What do we do? Let me see how you will you, you, you will dress up again and tell me you want to go to church. Let me see. Let me ever see you leave this gate without my permission. Because you have fine clothes, you can you can aff aff afford to, 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 to go to church. Let me see how you come and go to that church. Let me see how you go to the church.
How many times have I told you to stop calling me mom? What rubbish school are you even talking about? My friend, go and remove that uniform, Jerry. What's that? Oh, so when I told you there'll be no mention of school in this house, you thought I was joking. I'm not joking, no. No school for you two until further notice. For now, go and remove that uniform and go and wear something else. You go and sell these things for me. Um, you, Natasha, you sell the pure water. Give one. You sell the orange. Did you hear me? So go and remove that rubbish you are wearing. Ready for school. Who will pay the school fees? You have two minutes, so if you like, cat walk to the room. I will use Kate to bring you out. Finished. We are hungry means you want to eat food. Yes, we are finished. I have not eaten since yesterday. So, what are we going to do now? I'm thinking this one that one of you monkeys collected this money that was not good. Maybe we'll be able to buy something with it and eat. We're out of school. We can't feed. Is that broke or what? He promised we won't lack any- SHUT UP! I should call my husband. For you, as what? Are you not old enough to work and make money for yourselves? I should call my husband. Get out of my face right now. And carry this you, you, you useless Please, I want to beg. Try and shut up most times. Why should I? Because she will kill us if we keep questioning or challenging her. Natasha, already dead. This is not life. No food. No education. No parents. Not even clothes to wear. Even people in the orphanage are better than us. My sister. Hmm. There's nothing I've not done. I have tried. I don't know why God has refused to give me my own. Hmm? Instead, I'm in this house babysitting those bastards. Hmm? Hmm, hmm. You know me now. Once I get pregnant, I'm sending them out of the house. I don't care where they go. They are out. Out of my house. No problem. Please greet your daughter for me. Alright. <sighs>
Letitia and Aliyah. Okay. Oh, is that so? Oh well, they're not the first kids to do it, so it doesn't matter. So how come I am not doing it? My friend, will you shut up? I don't want to hear you say a word again. Is that clear? No, mom. I have to speak with them. Not in your life. Hmm? Not in your life. I mean, you just have to pretend like you can't see them. And I don't want you to talk about this with anybody in your school. Is that clear? Yes, mom. Good girl. Now give mommy a peck. Mm, what? <laughs> good girl. That's good. What do we do? Hang on, you'll soon be home. What's going on here? Welcome, mom. Has been she needs urgent medical attention. Mm. And the urgent medical attention, does it require money? Obviously. Obviously. Does she have cancer? Then I don't have money. Okay, can I call that through your phone? Oh, you shut up! Useless child. What use whose phone to call who? I should give you money. I don't know what this student take me for. You're not even lucky I've not gone to sell you. She wants me to die. Stop it. You won't die. Let me take you to draw. The sufferings. Oh, oh Lord, my God. Even in your death. We miss you, Mom. She was the best mother any child could pray to have. Kids, why would you call those maggots my kids? Ha! Please. Talk of the devil. I'm not a devil. Are you mad? Is she your mate? Apologize! I'm sorry. It's okay. Mom, get, get out. It's your mother. Stupid thing. Please, Aliyah is dying. Let's take her to the hospital. Or 
You can give me some money. Let me get her drugs. Wait, though. Did she just call you mom and you answered? And when did you hear me respond? I cannot be a mother to a bastard. Here. Yeah. It's not possible. <sighs> Are you ready? I'm so ready. Let's go. You don't have respect, Abby. Hmm? You don't have respect. Because you still, you still have hair on this your head. Very soon I'll, I'll use scissors and blade and shave it off. Aliyah. 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 Are you okay? the meaning of all this? Are these children mad? <laughs> Natasha! <laughs> no. Hello, honey. 
Honey, we're fine. We're fine. We miss you, but we're fine. I just took the kids now to the movies. We went to see a movie. And they're so happy. Oh, you don't need to thank me. They're my children. <laughs> um, you want to talk to them? Uh, no, actually, they're upstairs and they're taking a nap because you know now they're exhausted children. <sighs> okay, so when they wake up, I'll call you so you can talk to them. Okay? I know they're happy, but I know they miss you as well. But I miss you more. I love you. All right, bye. Really? Movies. <laughs> Natasha! What these bastards, these useless children. Natasha! Natasha. Natasha. Madam, didn't you hear me calling you? Besides, why is my living room so scattered? Ah. And why is that one lying as if she's dead? That's because she's dead. I was going to take care of these children. Eh? Now Aliyah is gone. Hey! Oh God! Oh God! <laughs> I, I feel so bad. I feel so bad. I'm just sad. After all the money that I spent taking her to the hospital. After all the vigils and the prayers that I had on her behalf, death still snatched my baby away from me. What will I do in this house? Who will call me mommy? Who will I play with? Who will play with my hair? Oh, oh God. I just, I just feel like just to kill myself. What is the value of this life? A child will be born just to die. Why didn't I just die instead of her? Oh, oh my baby, Alia, where are you? Scary nightmare, right? No. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, come on, come, come back to bed. Come and sleep. No, no, no. Oh, come on, relax. It's okay. Come and sleep, okay? Don't worry. Come on, just sleep. You'll be fine. All right? Huh? You'll be fine. What am I doing here in the sun? Where am I? Who are you? I'm Ure and I'm as dead as you are. I'm not dead. There's no way I can be dead. You are dead. I'm not dead. I said you are dead. And I said I'm not dead. Let me show you something. Oh. <laughs> oh my 
my God. Thank you so much, baby, darling. Mm, I really need this. <sighs> mm, mm. So, how is the baby kicking? <laughs> Are you kidding me? It's just a few weeks. <laughs> and how is Alfred and Natasha? They're fine. Mm -hmm. Everybody's doing well. You sound rather too comfortable. Mm? Have you forgotten the plan? The plan is to eliminate the two girls before you give birth to your baby. So you can gain prominence and take charge of everything Alfred has. Remember, he's the only son. I know. The thing is, I just feel so guilty about Aliyah's death. I feel like I killed her. Are you kidding me right now? Of course she killed her now. What? What is what? You don't know when you kill people. Hmm? If you had taken Aliyah to the hospital, would she have died, idiot? I think you should drink up and leave my house. You asking me to leave your house? Actually, forget the drink. Get out. Ah ah! Drop it. Get out. With all pleasure. She's right. I killed Aliyah. And I must kill Natasha as well. Why are you crying? Hello. I miss my sister, my dad. I want to see them. You can't see them. You see, my friend, the dead and the living cannot have physical contact. Excuse me. I'm as dead as you are, so are spirits. You can't, we can't talk, touch, or feel them. But for those who perpetrated our death, we can frustrate them a little bit. People like Linda. That's my mom. Oh, sure. Your, your mom is Helen, not Linda. If Linda was your mom, she wouldn't have killed you. Help my friend. We'll show Linda a little difference between the dead and the living. How? I'll help you. Deal? Deal. Okay. Wait for me. Alfred back. <gasps> Alfred is usually not this loud and noisy. He used to be. Don't insult my father. Or just show. Uh...
Alfred. Yes, yes, I'm fine. Um, honey. Yes. You came a bit late today. Um, yes, I... It was her sports day in school today, so I had to wait for her. Oh, okay. Um, I was in the kitchen, so I'll just go back to my cooking and... <sighs> okay, uh, I'll, I'll be in the room. Natasha, make sure you drop your bag when you get to the room, okay? Okay. Sweetheart, I'm upstairs. What? Your sister is coming. Just shut up and don't let her hear you. I know she won't hear me. Yeah, I miss you so much. I miss you too. See me. Come and touch me. <laughs> what? She can't hear you, nor can she see you. Alia, we need to go back there. Go back there and do what? I thought you wanted revenge. Yes, I do, but you were a rather constituting nuisance, and I don't see how that would help quench my thirst for revenge. I guess I was having too much fun. What? I hate poison. Poison? What poison? My stepmother killed me through food poisoning. Linda, your stepmother is about to kill Natasha. We should go and stop her now. Let's go.
stop frowning your face. Natasha won't die. Okay. You want more? Mm. I should want more meat. With you. Do you understand? But I will show her that I'm a bigger witch. Now just. Alia. marriage and now you've lost it and he's expecting you not to cry hey baby girl you deserve to cry pour out your heart and cry eh? cry very well after all the babalaos the alphas even the pastor that we went to that slept with you for just for you to get pregnant will you shut up are you mad yeah. Can't you see her? Whoa! Oh. Alia now, she's sitting with somebody. That girl, she's... My name is Uwe. She says her name is Uwe. Stop being dramatic, Jare. Uh -uh. Ah! Can't you see that girl? See who? Huh? Alia! What are you running to? Alia, what is wrong? What can you see? I can't see anything. I can't see her! Alia! No. Ah! You can't see her? What's going on here? What is going on? I don't understand. Can you tell me something? Say what? Where? I, I don't know. Alia. Alia? What, what are you talking about? Alia. Alia is long dead. Alia is not dead. She's very white. Alia. Alia is there. You can't see her. Where? 
Come on, Linda. What is it? Aliyah is dead. Good girl. Now confess to them that you killed Aliyah. Tell them that you had plans to kill Natasha too. <laughs> Linda, what? Oh God, Linda, what is what is all this? What is going on? Confess now. I. What? Linda, talk to me. I killed Alia. You did what? I killed Alia. Linda. It's so it's so cold in here. It's cold. It's cold. I think it's hot. Confess the last one. Ah, uh, I can't say that word. Oh my god. You can't say what? <laughs> Don't upset me. Mm. Say it at once now. Okay. Okay. Um you know, I killed I killed Helen. Alias mother. I I killed her. Linda! I was so jealous of your relationship and your love, so yeah. <sighs> I want tea. Mm -mm. It's more tea we drink. Linda. What's happening here? I... 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 I poisoned... I poisoned Natasha yesterday. Lord of Jesus. Oh, she didn't die. My goodness! She didn't die. Lord of Jesus! I poisoned her. You poisoned her? Mm -hmm. I need to go pick my daughter. Linda! Dad, mom is raving mad. Yes. Linda! I won't see. You look, look, now, see, this is the end of the road for you. Okay? This is it. Now leave my house. Leave my house! Ali, I are done here. We need to go. Baby, come and eat. Come and eat. Leave my house now. Ah! Aliyah! Aliyah! Where is this useless girl? Have you washed the plate? Hmm, I will kill this child. 